Hey guys, still there, and welcome back to Ireland Battle. Today we're starting the War in the North, or as Sparky dubbed it, what could possibly go wrong. This is an Ireland Battle campaign that you can do in co-op mode. You can even do it in versus, but we're going to go up in co-op. It should be a whole lot more interesting than the first campaign that we did, and there will be more battle groups, tougher fights, and potentially uh, severe losses. But we'll see. Anyway, here's Sparky. Sparky, welcome. Hello. Let's get started and see if we can actually uh, win this. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay, the Swedish government decided to mobilize its entire force. Should it concentrate on naval or ground? Oh, ground. I'd say ground, yeah. Reservists from... Oh, actually, we get either reservists or an air and naval raid will prevent enemy deployments from Leningrad for three days. Okay. Hmm. Get about the reservists. Let's go for the prevent reinforcements. Yeah, so naval reinforcements then. Yeah, naval reinforcements are going to prevent any further Red 4 reinforcements for the moment. Mm -hmm. Clouds are forming, disrupting enemy operations in the Baltic. This is good. We have a lot of different units. Yeah, we've got mechanized brigades, tank brigades. We've got one German Panzer Panzer Brigade. Yeah. Morale's pretty low for most of these groups. Mm-hmm. Mechanized brigade in Stockholm at high morale. Yeah, they're good. The Norwegian brigades. Well, one. No, of the actually, brigades. they have a morale of three. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. What do we have in there? Mostly infantry. A couple of 102s for fire support, but I wouldn't put those up against other tanks. A couple of recoilers rifles, some ATGMs. Yeah, Stockholm Titan. is going to be an urban warfare combat group. Yeah, and Norway is going to be an interesting fight as well in terms of we have two basic mechanized brigades. Against an armored brigade and a motorized yeah. brigade. We also have some troops in Aras. The uh, Yiska division. That's a whole lot of reconnaissance they got in there. That's a lot and of... 232 uh, infantry units? Wow. Yeah, they have 200 dragon or whatever they are. Jeez. How good are these guys going to be? Not fantastic, I would say. Well, if you're, if you're pitched in an infantry fight... Them. Pitched in an infantry fight, it mightn't be too bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, we might have to... I mean, you see, you have the Panzer Brigade there as well, the German Brigade. Yeah. That's been thrown back from Germany by the looks of it. <laughs> Couple of 48s, Leopard 1A5... Well, sorry, 1A4 and 2A1s. Oh, I'm going to miss the Leopard 2A5. <laughs> What's a Leopard 2A5? That doesn't exist yet. <laughs> oh, we also have an enemy Polish motorized in Kiel. Mm hmm. Yep. Alright, what can we get? Uh, we can get an aerial reconnaissance, scout out what the enemy has, air raid, naval bombardment, commando raid, aerial cover, camouflage, or mine layer. And we can call in two different groups, the 4th MAB, US troops, or yeah. the Landjut Reserve. Oh, we can't call in the US troops anyway yet, because they're 40 points. Oh, no, they're too points. expensive. You can see it too? Yeah, I can see it as well, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we just hold off. If we're going to call in anything, we'll call in the, the Marines, I'd say, or whatever they are. Yeah, the MAB. Um, but if apartment air raid recon, we could start moving a couple of the battle groups on the right further north, Sundsvall and yeah. Ostersund. Anyway, they were going to spawn in from what was it, Leningrad? Where is that? See where it says the Gulf Finland. Oh yeah, with the two ships, Leningrad is just there. Mm-hmm. 
So if they're going to spawn in there, it's going to take them two moves to get to their northern Russian zones. Hmm. Alright. I'm going to start relocating some units north. Can you see the orders that I'm queuing up? I can, yeah. Can you give orders? Uh, I don't think I can. No, I can. Oh, I, I can, yeah. Okay. Um, probably do it a few. Oh, we have two Panzer Brigades moving up, do we? Uh, yeah, the 9th and the 8th. We also have the 26th Panzer Brigade south. That's a whole bunch of 102s and 104s. Oh, With another oh, 96 Panzer Skeeter. Damn, they got a lot of these guys. <laughs> I think you're the only one able to give the actual orders, but I can, like, see... Oh, okay. So. Let's go in area recon for start, I think. Yeah, see what they have over there in Tron time. Alright, the... Oh, that's the twi uh, 227 that we just commanded in the previous campaign. Ah. The old... 84 eight. tanks. Damn. Mm. And the 367 motorized. 108 infantry units. Well, we're not Lots outnumbered of infantry mortars. wise. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I say try to delay them as much as possible in Christians and Denobdal. Let's not use the Brigade Nord at the moment. Hold them in reserve. Say again? Hold them in reserve. Yeah. We're going to put them on R&R. &R. Get them a bit more morale or initiative. We also have the 26th Panzer Brigade on the east in Colmar. Already 96 tanks. Slightly inferior quality, I'd say. Where is this now? Um... Two sectors right of Copenhagen. 26 oh, Panzer yes, Brigade. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm not sure how many SCRV troops are going to throw at us. Where? SCRV-104 is not too bad. Is it? Basically, yeah, it's uh, alright, but I'm not sure if it can tackle a T-72. Probably not, but... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. Alright, I think I ordered most units around. Let's get the 18 Panzer Brigade from Germany on R&R. &R. Uh -huh. Get those a bit more cohesion. Uh, same for Yisk. Same for Skellens. Yeah, I think this should be alright. We could do a strike on the guys in Trondheim. See if we can neutralize them, at least partially. Yeah, let's, let's hit him with whatever we can. We can do an air raid. Um, the enemy combat group in or entering the targeted sector from 6 a.m. will lose two initiative points. Their yeah, initiative is pretty high. But the more initiative, well the more units they deploy initially. We may as well try and take the initiative off them, I suppose. Yeah. All right, air raid in. Um. Yeah, okay. We can also hit them with a naval bombardment. That would lose them two morale points. And morale influences the amount of victory points that they need. Do it. Oh, we can't hit them. I can hit Namsos, but not Trondheim. Okay. We also have four commando raids, and we can use those to lose another initiative point. Okay. The motorized regiment wasn't affected. Yeah, I'm just looking at that. Alright, here come... Nope, commander raid cannot operate there. Maybe because we're already executing an airstrike. Probably. <laughs> Could try okay. hitting poles with uh, commander raid. We can do that. Yep. Okay. Alright, let's send orders. 
Here they come. They're splitting into two They're groups. Splitting into two groups, yeah. That could be beneficial. They got very little initiative. 900 starting points. 1500 to go. We got more starting points, but also more victory points to get. I'd say okay. we take them whole, or we hold them here. Yeah, let's try and hold them here, yeah. There's a couple of... Hopefully they spawn on the opposite end of the bridge, or the opposite sides of the bridges. Yeah. That would be very useful to us. Okay, so we got Alicent and Obdal. And they have Tron time. Okay. Where? Oh, they're far north, yeah. Do we have any standoff weapons? And then 142s. Yeah. Only five of them, though. We could use those from the elevated positions in Obdal. Try to snipe any tank that comes close. Or push over to Charlie. Actually, no, never mind, because that is also elevated terrain. If we're going to have to hit them anywhere, we might be able to do it from here, towards the opposite side yeah. of the bridge. Yeah, that seems our best option, I think. Let's start by deploying another command vehicle. Do you want to abandon... Abandoned? Abandon Alicent, or...? No, I don't think that'd be wise, because they are worth five points. Oh, yeah, okay. You want to take right flank, so Obdol or Alicent? Uh, uh, Alison. <laughs> okay. Further away from the enemy, it could be the better. Yep. Oh, and M uh, only M forty five A five is all we have tanks wise. We also have star fighters, but we don't have too many of those either. Mm -hmm. And those wonderful F sixteens with the <laughs> thousand kilogram yep. bombs. Right. Infantry-wise, we got the Carl Gustafs and the Stormer, but again, we don't have too many of those. Just ten. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of Gevermen. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's hardly a map to be spamming Gevermen. Infantry, no, it's not, yeah. Hmm. As for tanks, M48A5s. Those are decent at short range, but otherwise... They're just sh meat shields. I'd say skirmish a bit with the NM42s. Or, um. 48s. No, the 142s. Oh, 142s, yeah. Maybe hit them with Starfighter where we can. We know that they have Briuses, uh, Osas, and Books. They also have MiG 29s. Yeah. And the other aircraft that can drop standard HE bombs. And a fighter, a MiG-25, I think. Yeah. Uh, we have no support units that can shoot an aircraft. Shit. We do. Well, effective. Yeah. So we have the NM-195. Oh, the 195. But, I mean, how effective they're going to be at shooting down fighters is the other... They're going to have to get really, really close. We yeah, need to get a shot on that. We have RBS 70s in the infantry as well, but only yeah, four of them. Again. Alright, I'm gonna start deploying some units. Yeah. And we might have to at some point just run. Hold them for as long as we can, I suppose, and then. Yep. Okay. Let's hope they come. Let's hope they play to my rules. Put it that way. Now, for you viewers' strategy, I'm going to be setting up infantry over here. Anything that comes up is going to get ambushed. I'm going to try and get to this position. Although I'm not sure how fast the 145s or 142s can get there. That's the yeah, I'm kind of unit. deployed as much as I can. Alright. I'm going to try and intercept tanks that are coming down here. So they will also be getting support from a reconnaissance unit. I'm going to try to get here. Same here for units. Infantry. And I'm going to try and get up here as well. Okay. I think we're just a delaying force at this point. Yeah, there's not much we can do. It reminds me of um, the Second Korean War. Uh, campaign in Red Dragon. And there's like yeah. one... 
one it's one of the first battles you fight but it's basically a mechanized infantry brigade against like two armored divisions which yeah you're more of a speed bump than anything well. else yeah exactly all right let's go oh yeah sorry i need to get used to that <laughs> no worries Do -do -do. I'm not sure how the units interact when you lose the troop transport, for example. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Income is decent. The income can be decent all at once, it's just, um, what do we have to spend it on? <laughs> yeah. Freedom fighter. Yeah, I got two of those on standby in case we see some infantry. Yeah. We can snipe. Save up for a star fighter. I mean, our biggest, our most useful asset at the moment is going to be the tow twos. Yeah. That's it. Shit. And helicopters. What is that? That's an MI-24. It's alright, I've nearly got my NM-195s are nearly there. Yeah, but he outranges you. By 600 meters or something like that. And get an aircraft in. 400 meters. Oh, shit. That's buckets. a lot of forces coming down there on the left. Okay. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Got the MI-24. Yeah. Bruce, uh, spot it here. Well, they least. just wiped out your entire left flank. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be fun. Um. Good fun. Oh, not rookie. Jesus, the only tanks I have left are trained. Lovely. Hey, come. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna hold the position. I have an echo. Best thing right. I can do. Push those infantry across the bridge, maybe, or push them in here. See the infantry you have an echo. Push hold them on. over there and defend that side of the bridge if you can. Oh, okay. Sorry. Where? See my fence marker. Uh, yeah. Only if you can. There's no way. Well, I think I'm going to be having my hands full on this side for the moment. You lost eyes on that starfighter target. I just have attack move. Okay. Oh, oh, please don't shoot him. I got something anyway for 35 points. I'm gonna try to regain the target there, but... Recon options are a bit limited with this deck. Unfortunately, they wiped out um, two NM-142s for me, or one, whatever they are, the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Tow 2 carrying. Standoff weapons are nowhere near range. Valuable. Oh, lovely. They got a lot of tanks pushing up on my flank. Okay, I'm 
Send it in the starfighter to try and deal Hold with it. Hold on, did you just smoke me? No. Well, then the AI just grew a brain. What are you? You're a fighter. You're a MiG-25. Do you have a starfighter standby? It's just got shot down. Okay. Yeah, MiG-25 is operational there. They scored 500, we did 450. Oh god. Come on, Starfighter. Come on. Now would be a good time. Drop it, burn right top of them. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, get them. That's half of them. Jesus, how much do these things need? That's not helpful. Should I just withdraw from the um, position? Do you have a starfighter? No, I don't. Bring one in though. If you can afford one, we can still score quite a few points here. Yeah, drop it. We just lost the CV? Is that your flank? E it would be Alsund, yeah. Alsund. Those are 120 point tanks down there. And they're all very, very low health. Time for the M45A5 to have a deal, Dev. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I wasn't expecting that. We still have 500 points to go. Alright, I'm pulling back all these guys from where they are in Echo. Across back to where your guys are in Echo. Yep. Fast run. Twelve minutes. <clears throat> okay, well they're smoking my tank at the moment. Yeah, they're probably trying to block line of sight. They're a bit slow about it. Jesus. Look at the burning carcasses of all those T-72. Yep, works for me. Got another MI-24 coming in. Oh, Beruza or something. Good. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. That's an AA piece. Times like this, I wish we could blow the bridge here. As Indeed. soon as my units get across. <laughs> that Brius is getting really pissed off at my farm. My M48A5 is what we need. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> my NM116 is out of fuel. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Stranded it's not like it's here. sitting out in the middle of the road or anything. Yeah. BRM. Not even quite sure what he's trying to hit. Your recon vehicle? No, infantry, I think. Got him. There's another oh, BRM. Jesus. No. No, 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 no. Mind your uh, NM142s in the open out here. Yeah, falling back. Do, uh... 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, those rocket planes still have use. <coughs> So where's this tank rush that we were promised? Did you get him? Yep, here we go. Oh, there they are. Um, may have an issue. We have kind of an open flank here. Indeed. Yeah, and they're coming across. So I might be able to stall with uh, Starfighter. No, my tanks have engaged them now. Oh, that MiG-25 is getting really annoying. It survived. Draw, withdraw, you're gonna get knocked out. We just need 300 points, they need 600, we can get this. You push up your NM-142s up to this defensive line I have? Uh, yeah, but wherever they go, they're probably going to be wiped out pretty quick. I'll throw some tanks in as meat shield. Well, okay. metal shield. <laughs> Reinforce that line with some of these tanks and spawn. Yeah. There they are. Here we go. Okay. These folks fire on one of these tanks. Try to get the lead ones. Panicked and stunned. Come on, come on, come on. We might be able to shoot down the MI25 or the MiG25. Hit, kill. Good work. 120 points. Killed one. Killed two. We got him. Ooh, what a victory, though. That was a. Okay. Lost a lot of points there. Okay, so I think it really helped that we got some damage in on them. Hmm, and they have no initiative now, so... No. Alright, the other one, Opdal. The 12th Brigade versus the Motorized. Uh, let's... Oh, we don't know what they have. Damn it. We still have a lot of infantry in that battle group. Hmm. Support units. I think we're going to have to rain down on them with NM-109s. Maybe the Leopard 101s. Okay. Alright, here goes. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. So they got one bridge. And an open field that they need to cross. This could be a nice position for some HGMs up here. Yeah. If we can, if get, we can get there, there soon there. enough. Hmm. I'll send a CV up in Lilhammer so we can as hold that. As I can. Yep. Um, maybe defend this place and here, if we can get there. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can get to that second marker on the right in Echo. I think they're going to be spawning in a lot of stuff. Maybe this tree line then. Yeah, that would probably be better. I'll send some leopards down there. You're taking the left flank, correct? Yep. Okay. They might try to go right down the middle. Yeah, that's the only... Oh, we have Leopard 1A1s. Yep. Nice. Okay. 
Um, we can spam infantry all day at them. That's the advantage we have, I suppose, isn't it? Unfortunately, those things are not armed with an auto cannon. The NM 135s are, but the 113s are not. Now, normally I recommend against quad stacking, but in this case, I'm going to quad stack this building right here. I was going to try kiting any fighters that they have over this line. That's going to be a tough fight, this one. I'm ready on deployment. Same. Okay, good speed, man. <laughs> so what? naturally, I completely forget to deploy a reconnaissance unit. Ah, yeah. Same. Well, no, I have. I think I have a couple of new reconnaissance units there. I have them there somewhere, anyway. Contact. I have contact as well. Oh, lovely, my tanks are engaging already. Hundred thirty points, must have been a CV. They got long range AA from their own position, their own base. Run, leopards, run. We got artillery coming in from their base. From their main spawn. Okay. Here. Which I might be able to get with uh, Can you shoot back at them? Uh, I don't have any... Arti oh, 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 mid. Mm -hmm. It's only a small number of units though because they were... Uh, well taken out by my tanks at the start. Um, some more infantry. Oh fuck. That's bad news. Cleared out the infantry from the building. Ooh, those transports are not having a good day. Get out of here. You're getting a lot of damage in there. Good work. I see a mobile command vehicle there. Looks like it's fighting back, too. It's only a uh, BR. BMP. Oh, fuck, we cannot leave the structure. Get back in. Got that command vehicle. Nice work. Your units are coming in from my side, is that the intentional? Yeah, those guys are going to try and defend mid. Okay, good. Oh, they didn't make it in time because they're after fucking putting through already. Alright, now we can start pushing back against this T-72. We're almost half the points. Just 200 more. Oh, good 
God. over on your side of Tron time. Well, it won't get very far. I could try and uh, get a CV into counter. We need 35 points. I may get that here. Just hit something. There we go. Alright, total victory at that. Look at that. 230 <sighs> points is all that they got. That's good work. I do my best. <sighs> Hmm. Total victory, these guys are routed. That means that they're probably going to head back to Trondheim. If we push back... Anti-war march. Wonderful. If we push back into Trondheim, we might be able to just completely wipe them out. Hmm. Okay, Pyongyang. Boots on the ground, or sounds of boots. Um, do we send the 101st to Southeast Asia? Yeah, go on. We don't really need him. Okay. Power of Norwegian might is going to hold it back. <laughs> For the moment, that is. It's only the American. All right, let's leave it here and we'll continue this in another video. Cool. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to Captains Jackknife, Elfwin, and Lee for your support on Patreon, and of course Majors Stegeman and Bot, uh, Spedbot18. If you want to keep watch on this campaign, be sure to subscribe, and we'll be back trying to defend whatever is left of Norway and Sweden, and Sweden. in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.